Um, they say that music soothes the the savage beast, yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, and I say that with with actually kind of like you know with a smile on my face because I think like you know the enemy mm-hmm. wants to always constantly cause disruption and i noticed that once you started playing worship that the disruption that we were getting from the folks that were showing up yeah. started to slowly dissipate right and i know now how important worship is yeah well and also showing up early to get it started before the other folks show up so that they're already a presence of god you know through the music is already there you know even though god's spirit is everywhere but it's nice having music to usher in you know the presence of the lord so that as the um the folks from all over come and gather and then the staff start showing up and stuff and everybody's in a good mood and they're all greeting each other with hellos rather than you know <laughs> being mad or yeah. whatever you plus you're you know, you know what i like about your style of music for anybody who um, is interested and here's his podcast if they want a CD because yep. you have a CD yep. um, if anybody wants a CD just leave a message yep. for us sure. and um, I will make sure that I get you a CD I'll, I'll, yep. I'll buy your CD and, um, and send it to yep. you but and, yep. um, but what I notice is that what I like, like about your music is it's not like the old school hem, hemnal worship music yeah which mm-hmm. The songs are, <laughs> yes. but they're but they're but they're rock and roll, yeah, but, yeah. and they're and they're kind of moody blues, or kind of like uh, like Bob Dylan, mm-hmm. Led Zeppelin, yeah. like any any of the kind of the, the like the famous kind of like folk kind of rock and roll people that you could think of is right. your is your style, right? Yeah. So it's danceable, yeah. It's happy, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and I think a lot of times what I've noticed is people come and they don't realize that they're actually worshiping, right? Mm-hmm. And then they sit there and they listen to your words and they go, wow, th- that's all. Christian music, and I'm like, yeah. 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 It sounds like the Doobie Brothers. It sounds like the. It yeah. sounds like uh, uh, Neil Neil uh, Neil Young, yeah. Neil Young, or yeah. or something. But it's or Deadheads, but it's, you know, Grateful Dead. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you know. Um, so. But yet, it gets you. It gets you in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and I do. I, I do believe that it does. Wor- it does uh, mm-hmm. rush the spirit of the Lord on the. You know, it invites the Lord there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So in there, you know, and. People are able to give requests, you know, because I do, you know, I do some secular music that has a good positive meaning because there's a lot of Bob Dylan songs and even Neil Young and some of the others have some great music that are just great songs. And sometimes I'll have some of the people on the streets say, we want to hear this song. And then they'll sit there and just cry because it brings back a memory of, of something for them, of their childhood or their sure. you know, their family life or whatever. And it's like... God uses that to, to minister to them. Where the, and that's one thing I believe in ministering where they're at rather than just trying to say, oh, I'm going to play this no matter what. I'm gonna, you know, I kind of cater to their needs of what they want to hear. You know, sure. So, yeah, so. 